Have you ever gone to use your flex shaft where you've pushed on the foot pedal and all of the sudden it just speeds off? Or maybe you're having it where things are not quite as regular and consistent as they should be when you're using the foot pedal. Perhaps there's a little bit more play there than there used to be. Well, it could mean that your trigger switch has gone bad. This is something that can happen over time and it's very easy to swap out. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to take care of that and replace the trigger switch in your foot pedal. Now, in this case, I am using the foot pedal for the SR motor. However, it's very similar to swap out trigger switches in other various foot pedals as well. As I mentioned in this video, I'm working with the FCT-1, which is the foot pedal that comes along with the Fordham SR motor. The foot pedals are labeled on the bottom for easy identification, and the trigger switch for this model is the CP-10857. The first thing we need to do is turn the pedal over, and you'll see a screw and a washer. These need to be loosened and removed. You're going to set them aside for now for safekeeping. So next you're going to use a flat blade screwdriver to remove the top of the foot pedal by slipping the screwdriver between the top and the bottom of the pivot point. Once the pedal is open, you will see black, green, and white wires as well as the original trigger switch controller. Notice how the switch controller is positioned with the trigger switch facing upwards. Pull the controller out of the holding brace and take note of how the wires are attached. You will notice that there are two screws on the side. These are holding one of the wires into place. Using a small screwdriver, loosen the screw, but not so much that it comes out. The black wire will be inserted into the hole labeled with a number one. Remove the black wire from the original controller and you may need to roll the wire ends in your fingers to create a tight twist on the wire so it can be inserted into the new controller. Once fully inserted, use the screwdriver to tighten the screw so that it holds that wire into place. Next, we want to remove the second black wire from the original controller. This wire is held in place with a push-in spring clamp. Release the clamp by inserting a 1.3 millimeter pin or end of a jeweler screwdriver next to the wire. Then pull and remove the wire. Reinsert the wire to the number 6 spot in the new controller. Push that wire in completely, so you should not see any exposed wire if it's done correctly. Next, we repeat for the white wires. Both of these wires are in a push-in spring clamp style holder. Once again, use the pin to remove the wires. You can remove them both at the same time, but you also want to make certain that you keep them in the right positions, or you can just do one at a time. Insert the wires into their correct positions into slot number 3 and 4 and verify that each wire is in completely. Next, we need to put our trigger switch controller back into place. It's a tight fit, so just use your fingers to position the wires so they curve around the opening and lay down out of the way. The trigger switch should be positioned upwards and move when you push down on it. You want to replace the cover by positioning the pivot points and pressing down with your hand to snap it back into place. Flip the foot pedal over and reinsert the screw and the washer. Be sure to keep it aligned straight up and down so it will align itself correctly. Using the screwdriver, tighten the screw to remove any slack in the foot pedal. Stop once you begin to notice the pedal closing down. I like to close it down a little and then I'll back it out slightly. If you over tighten it, the trigger switch will be engaged and you don't want too much play in the foot pedal, but too little is also not a good thing as it will cause your motor to run. The trigger switch includes instructions and wiring diagrams for easy reference, but as you can see, it's a fairly straightforward process. Now that that's all done, you should be good to go for many more years to come. As always, if you have any questions, be sure to drop us a line. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a good day.